Hello, today I'm going to be going through an incomplete record question, ACCN3, June 16, and the question is on Hassan. Okay, if you haven't had a chance to look at the question, you may want to pause now and have a look at the information given in the scenario. The question is a 22 mark uh, question income statement. Okay, so if we scroll down, income statement is what we need to prepare. So what I'm going to do is just leave the information there can't manage to squeeze everything in and if i zoom out it's going to be too small for you to read so i'll leave it up there um, the introductory just mentions that hassan has you know incomplete records and we need to prepare an income statement question so that is the task for today okay so looking at this question as i've mentioned in other videos these kind of questions you know, you've got to start with um, doing sales, cost of sales, gross profit. Okay, one of the key subheadings to an income statement. If you look at the information, you will find no sales figure, no cost of sales figure, and no gross profit figure. Okay, so how do you start this question if there is no key subheading? Okay, if there is no key information in the scenario. What you will find is obviously an income statement. The first thing on, on an income statement is sales. So you've got to try and tick that box, okay, and find information to do with sales. And if you have a look at the information in the scenario, there is information to do with sales, okay. There is gross profit margin. However, we can't use that, okay. That's quite valuable actually, okay, because if you know what your profit is in percentage wise, and you have sales or cost of sales, you can work the rest of them out. However, we don't have that. So how do you start this question? We have information to do with sales. So the, the first step to this question is to put together um, a, a sales ledger control. Okay. Looking at the information that we have in the scenario, we have an opening balance. We have a closing balance. We have money received from customers so we've got money through the bank we've got money through cash looking at the rest of the information we have a dishonored check okay and we have a contra transaction all of which need to go into the control so you have your balance brought down you're carried down you've got your receipts this figure here is by adding these two together so you add them together, that becomes your bank. You've got your dishonored check, which is point number seven, comes back into the control, increases the balance, and contra reduces. So opening, closing, dishonored check, receipts, add the cash and check together, and then you have contra. Balance off the account, and that's your missing figure, 225. Just as we've done, the SLC, the PLC would need to be done uh, as well okay again we have inf information to do with plc so we have the opening the closing just as they gave us information to do with slc we have information to do with plc so we have check and cash add them together and they are your payments to your suppliers so we have opening closing bank Contra goes into SLC and PLC, just on the opposite sides. They both are supposed to reduce the, ba the balance of the account. There's one other information, one other piece of information that we're missing, which is point number nine. We have been charged interest for not paying on time, and that is going to increase our balance. Balance off the account, and you work out the missing purchases figure. Okay, so straightforward SLC, PLC, step one and two. Now that we have sales and purchases, sales we have, we don't have gross profit yet. Cost of sales, we have bits of it. We've got opening, closing is missing, but we have purchases. So we have opening, that we now have, we've calculated it, we still have that missing. Okay, so we have sales, cost of sales we don't have yet. We've got most of the information, it's still not complete. Gross profit, I've put a Y there as a, as a yes, meaning that we know that 
is profit. 25% of sales is profit. So that is the next step. Okay, that is the next step. So we worked out previously 225,000 was our sales figure. And we know with margin, the way the, the way margin is broken down is sales is equivalent to 100%. Cost of sales is 75 and profit is 25. We have that figure there. Sales is 225,000, which means 25% of our sales is our profit. So 225, 25% of that is our gross profit. Whereas 75% of that is our cost of sales. Okay, so using margin 25%, and a variable such as sales you can work the rest of the figures out okay so we have number one through slc we have number two through plc we have opening inventory that's given to us and we now have gross profit and cost of sales and we work these out using sales as as well as gross profit margin so that's what you have so far Again, what is missing is closing inventory. Okay, that is missing. Now, that is the next step. So you need to know it, the uh, formula for inventory turnover. They mentioned that inventory turnover is in times. So you need to know the times uh, formula. Cost of sales over average inventory equals times. Cost of sales, we now know what that is. We don't know what X is. That's what we are trying to work out, but we know the outcome is 7.5 times. So we are working backwards. 168750. Let me just change that. Okay. 168750 divided by 7.5, we're working backwards, is 22,500, and that is the average inventory. Again, average inventory is opening plus closing divided by 2. So we work backwards and we times by two. And that is 45,000. So 45,000 here, important to remember, 45,000 is opening plus closing. Okay. Had we divided it by two, it would give us 22,500. We are working back. So we times by two. Now we know what opening is. We don't know what closing is. Now if you know 45,000 is opening plus closing. Well, if you take opening away, you work out the missing closing figure. So this particular step is we are trying to work out what is closing inventory. So you draw the formula, you put the figures in, you work back divided by 7.5, you double it because you would have divided it previously. So we double, we work backwards, and then we take opening stock away. So 45 is opening plus closing. We minus opening and the rest is closing. Now, if you are getting confused at this point, the best thing to do is work forward. Okay, and very simply, 16,500 opening. Let's test it. 16,500 plus 28,500 opening stock plus closing stock divided by two will give you 22 and a half. Put that at the bottom. 168750 divided by 22 and a half will give you 7.5 times. And that's one way to check that it works. Okay, so that is SLC, PLC, step one, step two, cost of sales. Um, using margin is step number three. Step number four is this inventory turnover. That's what we have so far. One, two, Three we've discussed. That was given to us, and we now have 28,500. Now, if you do this um, mathematically, that plus that minus that does not give you that. It does not give you that. Now, according to margin, that's our cost of sales. According to our math, that plus that minus that does not give us that. And the only reason that we have an issue here is because Hassan suspects that a dishonest employee may have stolen both cash and inventory from the business. So what's happened here is inventory most likely would have gone missing. If that doesn't add up, don't just leave it there. Check your calculation. 
Okay, in your exam, check your calculation, add the two together, take closer inventory away. If it doesn't give you that, something has gone wrong. Look back at the question and there will be some kind of indication. And AQA, they're telling you here that, look, you know, it, it's not going to add up if it's you work backwards and find the missing inventory figure. This is this is just a math calculation. It's nothing complicated. Okay, it is actually very, very simple. Oops. Okay, so... What we have is, so what we know so far is that there may have been stolen inventory, okay? And we know, going back to the previous slide, that that did not actually add up, okay? So the next step is to work out the missing figure. So if you start, ignore that for the time being, um, if you start with cost of sales of 168750, okay, that actually might be relevant in, in this case. Um, if you start with 168750 and you work back, okay, so you add closing inventory, what would normally be deducted, we add back. Purchases we would normally add, and this in this case we deduct. Opening inventory, we add. In this case, we deduct. We are working backwards here. Okay, so 168750 plus closing inventory minus purchases minus opening inventory, and that will give you a figure of 6750 that is missing. Okay, and that becomes your missing stolen inventory figure. Like I mentioned previously, if you go back here, we know that number one and two and three and four, they are all correct. G is given to us, okay? We know if we add these two together and we take closing inventory away, it doesn't quite give us that, okay? It does not give us 168750. And the reason for that is because some inventory has been stolen and it's your job to work that out. AQA, they've indicated that to you. It's your job to work that out. So if you have a question like this again, okay, in another in another scenario, the best thing to do would be follow your instinct, okay, work out all the key figures as you would normally. If they mention that inventory may have been stolen, check your math. Does it all add up? And if it doesn't add up, the missing figure that you just have to put in place so it does all add up, is missing inventory and that's what we have done here okay so we know revenue sales minus cost of sales gives us gross profit nothing is changing all the figures we are sticking to okay that is fine so far we know that if we put into our calculator opening stop plus purchases minus stolen inventory we've got to deduct it because it's been stolen minus closing inventory gives us our cost of sales figure that will actually match up in your calculator if if you take that out of the equation it will not add up to that okay it will not add up to that and a they're only giving you that one mark simply because all you are doing is working backwards to work out this missing figure in a previous video um, we've done a very similar uh, process where you we've had to work backwards to find a missing figure and, and that's quite standard in incomplete records. If you have all the information to a particular section, work backwards to find the missing figure. That's quite standard in incomplete records. Okay, so, so far, that is the first section to the income statement. That's taken, that's taken about 14 minutes or so. Okay, um, and that's the equivalent of six seven eight nine ten eleven marks okay eleven marks and we've taken about 14 minutes on that so far with my commentary what i will do is the second part to incomplete records which is from gross profit onwards um that will be in the part two video so please uh, do have a look at that uh, for the latter part of this question